your first alert forecast with meteorologist Hannah Messier. We have all green boxes highlighted on your first alert. No impacts expected in the next day. We had a gorgeous morning in the Iowa City City Cam. We had lots of blue skies and it is already pretty warm out there with lots of sunshine still in the forecast for this afternoon. One thing to mention though is some temperature differences across the area. It's 73 in Dubuque 82 in Iowa City and 78 in Manchester, 82 in Cedar Rapids. That's because of a cold front that is moving through eastern Iowa. And that cold front, as it moves to the southeast, is actually going to cool temperatures gradually throughout the day. Here's where that cold front is now. It's in front of a high pressure system off to our northeast. And this cold front will continue to again move to the southeast as we head through the rest of the day. Now on our satellite and radar, we've got clear skies across eastern Iowa. Not much in terms of clouds or precipitation expected today as that cold front moves to the southeast. Behind the cold front, maybe a couple of clouds here and there overnight tonight. But as we wake up on Thursday morning, we're going to have a partly cloudy sky switching to sunshine for Thursday afternoon. Today, highs will be in the 80s. We've already reached our highs for much of the area today. And because of that cold front, we're gradually going to see temperatures drop a bit into the upper 70s as we head into the afternoon. Tonight, temperatures dropping into the 40s. 49 in Cedar Rapids, 49 in Fayette, and 51 degrees tonight in Iowa City. That's basically where we're supposed to be for the end of May. Tonight's normal low, 51 degrees. Tomorrow, highs will be a bit cooler than they were today because of that cooler air coming behind the cold front. 72 in Fayette, 72 in Cedar Rapids, and 75 degrees in Washington. Washington, and these cooler temperatures are going to be around for a little bit, but then we're going to warm up again. Friday, still cool across much of the Midwest, but notice what happens as we head into Monday. Warmer air from the West builds across eastern Iowa and much of the Midwest, and that's going to be what we're seeing for next week. Highs next week actually in the upper 80s, so it's going to get pretty warm as we head into the end of May and the beginning of June. But for the next couple of days, seeing temperatures in the 70s Thursday and Friday with lots of sunshine, overnight temperatures in the 40s for this weekend, gradually rising temperatures, staying dry, through basically the entire nine day overnight temperatures in the 40s, 50s and 60s. Looks like a pretty warm end to spring, a hot start to summer, but that's uh, that seems about right to me, a hot start to summer. Yeah, the unofficial start is Memorial Day weekend for a lot of people and those temperatures nearing the 90s will really make it seem like it is. You know, a couple months ago, people were saying, oh, it's just it's too cool of a spring. We'll see what people are saying in the next couple of days. Yeah, May can see so many temperatures and weather patterns, and lots of variety in this month. That's true. All right, thanks, Anna.